Hi guys, welcome to another Wilderness Twins video. Um, I'm Gordon. Um, this video, I, I thought I'd just take a, take a break from um, today's shoveling of snow. Um, we I, we have haven't had that much snow this year, so when it when we get we've got about so eight inches of snow today, so it, it took us a while to like, dig out the driveway and all that sort of stuff. Um, and the driving around town has been absolutely horrendous. Some people just can't drive in snow, even though we live in Canada. I think people forget suddenly you get a snow and then I think there was something like seventy car crashes today. Uh, most of it obviously are all, all sort of minor one, but you know. Um, what my video today chat kind of thing was, I'm just want to sort of push towards what, what I'm actually going to be planning on doing for the year. Um, Edward's obviously got his, his rabbits and whatnot that are, that are doing absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got a few projects on the go. I want to make a, another tent heater. Um, I'm doing a knife handle for, for Edward, which it didn't work out too. Just as I was riveting it together, um, the had the it cracked. Um, so I'm having to start start again. So the, these things happen. Um, the wood's purple hard. It's it's very hard, uh, very straight grain. Um, I should have noticed that, it, that the the holes kind of more in line. So just as I rub it together, it split. That was it done. So I'm gonna have to restart that. But yeah, I got another nice nice piece. Um, and then hopefully that'll keep Edward happy for, for a little while, so I'll get that done next week. Um, well, the, the winter's here, obviously now it's time to start planning. We're in February, um, so in another, probably in another few, two or three weeks, we're going to start um, sowing seeds uh, to get, to get the, the seeds germinated and whatnot. So I'm going to be starting to go over and, and plan out what I'm actually doing with my garden. Um, I had hoped to, uh, I approached my local council about raising some chickens or ducks, um, but they've basically come back and say, no, you're, even though I live out in the country, I've got, I'm in a small subdivision, um, and it's basically just the, the subdivision, uh, the zone that is uh, residential because we've got a school right across the road. So it's residential, you're not allowed any, any kind of farm animals. So even though they're domesticated animals, um, uh, they don't. They don't care. Anyway, so kind of bummed out about that. But what, what can you do? Can you do? Um, my main focus this year is going to be on my garden. In that case, um, last I've spent the last three years getting a, trying to uh, get a piece of garden down at the, at the bottom to, to start producing decent decent vegetables. And it was only about like, eighteen by 40, four feet. Um, um, so, I hadn't really gotten that much into it. It was case I was just my wee play, play place. Um, but this year, I want to really sort of concentrate on growing a decent amount of vegetables, so I can then um, we can dry them out, and then, or we can we'll, we'll end up canning them, freezing them, all that sort of stuff. Uh, my wife, she loves making, all, doing all the stuff, so making all the jellies and jams and whatnot. Um, we've got pressure canners so we can make soups etc and start filling up the shelves again. We've, we've gone through all last year and we've gradually gone through it again. So every, every year we start growing things and we start making filling the shelves back up again. Um, obviously the way of the economy, it seems to be the, the how I'm wanting to live my life anyway. I'm wanting to not eat GMO produced food um, and know what, um, I mean, not like I'm sorry health guru or anything like that but I, I like to eat reasonably healthy if I, if I can um, anyway what I'm also going to be doing is a big part of my project this year is going to be doing recycling um, as in getting old wood from from people that are not wanting it anymore and getting old skids so I get a numerous amount that I can get from work um, I've got a whole load un underneath my, my, my deck at the moment with my or the straw, because um, I'm going to be doing a straw, straw bale garden as well, um, making a new compost bin, all from recycled wood, 
Um, this stuff here, these are, this is all planters that I've just made today since we've got eight, eight inches of snow, there's not, I'm not really going anywhere. Um, I was actually gardening at the beginning of the week, get, clearing away some of the, the, the dead stuff that I was getting rid of and starting planting and then suddenly, boom, winter comes along. But we can't complain, it's still February, so, yeah. Um, my next door neighbour last year made, got a new, nice new deck um, and they went and made theirs out of cedar. Um, so they were going to be chucking away all the off cuts, so it's just like, ah, stop, I'll take them. Um, so I'll make a few different projects from that, maybe some bird houses to go on the fence. Um, I went and made up some um, planters today. Um, and basically all you need with that, I mean, you, don't, you don't need it to be, I mean I've been working with wood for 30 years in my trade, uh, but you don't need to be an expert uh, to do these, you, all you need to be able to do is draw and cut a bit and cut a straight line, um, it's really not rocket science, I mean all, all you need is basically a hand saw and screwdriver. That's it. There's not a, there's no glue involved and all that sort of stuff. So these could all get taken apart and redone if anything breaks or whatever. Um, none of it's screwed together. Um, I'm planning on doing um, stuff that's attached to the walls. I want to make some uh, raised beds. Because uh, I mean the, the ideas are numerous that you can actually do. You you go on uh, on the internet. You go into Pinterest or Google or anything like that. And you can find a ton of stuff. I just went and bought a, a, a new book. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the best ones I've, I've read for a, a, a long time. Um, it's Grow All You Can Eat in Three Square Feet. Um, and it's mainly aimed at people who've got smaller, smaller gardens um, and showing them how you can actually grow all the, the vegetables you actually require in a small area. Um, I've got a decent sized garden, but I mean it's fifth, something like 50 feet by 50 feet, so it's, I mean, it's a decent size, it's not huge, it's not a field or anything, but um, I'm wanting to be able to also have a, a nice garden uh, that my wife likes, she likes all the flowers side of things, I, I want to do all the vegetables. So it's a combination of the two, but, but being able to showcase all of that, um, but using recycling equipment. Um, I've already made planters before that my, lo my wife absolutely loves. Um, but I want to be able to use and um, make stuff that can go on the fence, so they can grow in, uh, different flowers and vegetables together on, on the fences, on the fence and go sort of vertical and that kind of stuff. Um, you using recycling wood and recycled um, rocks and stones and all that sort of stuff. I've, I've found that there's a place in London that can get all of that reasonably cheap. Um, well, cheaper than going to the, your, your, your stores and buying a bag of, of gravel, etc. Um, so I want to be doing, this is what, the, what my plans are for these. So I thought I'd just do a, a quick sit down video. Uh, I haven't been on for ages. A lot of projects that, I'm, that I've been doing, um, life. We've, found, we've got a final look now. Son's moving, moving out on Monday. Um, so we had we found him an apartment, so we've been getting getting stuff for, for him to, to move out, so it's kind of busy, busy, busy. Um, busy at work, trying to organise things, etc. Um, but um, now that this is the ideal time to, to, to start planning your, your, your garden, so I'll, I'm going to do a, just a learning thing um, and hopefully come across, I'm not no gar mean gardener that I'm an expert, I'm, uh, I'm just I'm learning by reading books, internet, YouTube, all that sort of stuff. Same as I think a lot of people are. Um, there's a lot of skills that haven't been passed on to our generation from our parents, grandparents. And it's going to be even worse, I believe, for the next generation if we don't start passing that, these things on. Um, but this is the kind of things that we're, we're want to get involved with. Um, I think Edward's Ed going to be starting doing his his garden as well as the, the rabbits and combining the two. Obviously he's get, gets a, a, a lot of um, he's, he's, he's poop and whatnot, so that can go into the garden, great for nitrogen content and whatnot into your, into your um, either your straw bales 
or just digging into your compost basically. So that's me, I'm kind of rambling on now as I usually get to do, sorry about that, but um, I'm hopefully going to be going on a bit of a journey and you guys can, can come along too. So um, I'm looking, looking forward to it. Um, if anybody else has got channels like this, I'm going to jump on and start watching your stuff. Um, so please, if we are on the same wavelength, let's get talking. Um, as I say, I'm learning as, as I'm trying to, to do these videos as well. So anyway, everybody take care of that and we'll see you over the spring. Okay? Thanks guys.